Diana Cousins, D-I-A-N-A-C-O-U-S-I-N-S. How did I get involved with DABT? The director and I years back worked together at the art institution IA of Cincinnati, Ohio. I was a fill-in, an extra, at a Christmas play of the Shoestring Players. I was Tina. <laughs> Why did you choose to get involved with DABT? To give my talents, skills, gifts of expression, and others to enjoy as their own. Why are the shows of this type important to anyone? It reminds people of their humanity. No issue too big, too small, too big. This alone, with having brains, being smart too, honestly, it has no limits to explore the imagination. <gasps> that all can be scary. Why do you enjoy working with DABT? It's, a, it's an escape from the reality of normal life. Difficult in putting the show together. <laughs> it's optical and mechanical. It's tricking the camera and lights to make the appearance of a scene different from what would appear to be the naked eye. Mechanical is used to create an object. I have an example. I use a green screen to do my scenes. Sometimes in my home. Since I don't live in the location of certain movies and films and commercials and TV episodes that are being filmed, such as Pittsburgh, just to name one of them, that the show is being filmed and made at, I then upload to my YouTube for them to download so the special effects can be added. How is it difficult to not work directly with other actors having to use from my imagination instead of playing off on someone else's dialogue, reaction, etc. Not too hard. It's like when you're a kid. We all have an imagination. It never goes away until one chooses to take it away. Reality to fantasy and back again. It helps to keep it alive inside you. You never know when you may need it, such as in film. If I were to write a story for the show, what would it be about? Demons of the Lost Sea. Yeah. Sounds like a good film. Yeah. Demons of the Lost Sea. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> Winning the best TV show in Pittsburgh was awesome for DABT. What are my thoughts on something like that? Happy, proud, grateful, thankful. A year later on the past Thanksgiving, the Vortex Network gave DABT, DABT the Golden Turkey Award for the best horror host for the show on the network. Can I talk about the honor? I was like, yay me! And everyone. Look at us! Woohoo! Way to go! Yay! <laughs> Just came to my mind. <laughs> Two more events were given, awards were given to DABT just before Christmas by flagship station BPTV for the best TV series and best episodic moment of the network for its special effects from The Man in the Attic. Awesome. Okay. How important do I think the award and providing markability and recognition for the show? Very important. Did I even know there was a thing such as horror hosting? Yes. How? Cassandra Peterson as a Vira. <laughs> 
Why? Oh my god. I grew up watching her. The show. Just loved it. I love her. She's awesome. Can I describe horror hosting? Yes. Anyone who presents tales to an audience is a horror host. The concept behind it? Well, let's see. Avira was the mistress of the dark. Terrors of the Crypt? Well, they both tell short stories into movies. Pretty badass, I think myself. Along with all the other ones I haven't even mentioned. <laughs> the honor hosting mm, discuss the importance of the older movies to the horror hosting. Well, most people do not like. There's critics and judges being judged every single day. Most people do not like. So having it be horror hosted gets a scene and it's more attractive for business and creative people such as myself and others. <laughs> How is it beneficial? Oh my god, it's very, it's good for business. Talk about the honor gen the horror general, oh, vampire, Avira, Dracula, Frankenstein, just to name a few. <laughs> what is it? Do I think that staying up late and watching horror movies, fun with the family, and interesting enough for anyone to watch late at night? Well, it all depends on the family, your friends, the company you're keeping. Not everyone likes scary movies. It all depends on their forte. Not everyone likes bloody movies or scary movies that will keep you up at night or get you thinking or checking underneath the bed or underneath a chair or... Not wanting to go to bed at night. <laughs> I myself, I know I like scary movies. Since I was a little tiny kid, sitting in the middle of the floor, eating with TV dinners, I was watching scary movies. I loved them. <laughs> that's, just a big, that's just me, but I can't speak for others, but it all depends on the company that you're keeping. Seriously. Um, watching scary movies late at night, it could be the best thing. Um, but it all depends on the person or the other people. What is it about late at night for crowd and viewing? It's the excitement, the fears, the screams. It's your soul. Uh, that strong, powerful feeling that just makes you feel afraid, like, ah! as you watch, and you can't explain it. It only, only other people <laughs> who like scary movies know what I'm talking about. They just know. <laughs> I can't explain it. I'll leave it at that. It, other people know what I'm talking about. <laughs> what is it about horror host shows that make it perfect for the pop culture? Well, it's a big influence. Creativeness, expression, offering experience. Uh, it, it's expiring. It connects other people all over. Not just in one box, one area. I mean all over. Is it seen bad for the cut segments since um, for seeing what's bad and what's in, what segments are? N no. Not in my opinion, no. Others? Maybe. Mine? No. Or is it to see the good cut segments to look for compared to the older movies? The second one. It's how good the cut, 
I love like Hellraiser movies and the Stephen King movies, Creep Show, the Freddy movies, uh, the Puppet Master movies, the Jason movies, Halloween. These are all classic master films of all times. Along with many others I haven't even said. Why? Zombies, vampires, aliens, monsters of all kinds? What's not to love? DABT -A has a toy collection. Rodnex Comics and Toys makes them. So check them out. How am I com complimented on the type of thing as an actress and an, an actor and an actress? 100% on board. The show produces about for the show including... Uh, what do they not produce? They have short shirts. They have leggings. They have laptop sleeves. They have shower curtains. Notebooks. Uh, knickknacks, they have comic books, etc. They have so much other stuff that you would have to just check it out. So go log on to their website and check out their um, nice merch that they have. You'd be surprised at what you might can get. <laughs> Is it fun to see things like this available? Yes, always. Um, would would I would I? How fun would it be to see a likeness of a comfort blanket or a lamp such as myself? Oh my God! I would love it very much. Talk about a favorite memory of the show or behind it. Um, what was a couple of my favorite memories? Oh my god. Uh, the green screen, for one. The setup and the blue dress. The flowers together within. Not a good ideal. <laughs> what happened as I was making the show? What didn't happen? Um... I basically had a body with no head, just a floating head, a bobblehead, floating, ghostly, like, yeah, and I looked like I was naked, even though I had a dress on. <laughs> that was with the blue dress. So... With the flowers, I had to change my purple and my white with the green flowers to red roses. But the red roses had green in them too, so I had to hide the green leaves underneath the red roses. So the green would not show through the green screen. And then the dress... I had to change back into the black and red. And, oh, many retakes just to get it right. I had a blast. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> fun times um, doing that. <laughs> What do I think lies the future for DABT, for the storylines and its direction? Only more success. What do I think lies in the future of DABT in terms of even more advocate, advocates, good, good stuff, and networks? More of it. More is a coming. Just keep your eyes open. Keep those eyes open. More is a coming. Can I see the show getting bigger and better? Hell yeah. Yes, most definitely. <laughs> 
do I have any tips on who the double agent is? <laughs> Let's see. It could be anyone. Someone on the show isn't as they seem to be. <laughs> Can I give you some anniversary thoughts on the show and best wishes? Well, happy anniversary, Captain Drake, and everyone on cast and crew. I can't believe we are still around. I never thought this thing would go the distance. The fact that we all knew what we were doing, <laughs> all alone, is something to celebrate. So woohoo! From everyone here at BPTV, PCTV, MCA TV, The Vortex, The Monster Channel, we just wanted to say happy anniversary and here to many more. Hehehehe. <laughs>